Hello, my name is David Webb, and this is a video for Dweebovision. I am a Scrabble Grandmaster, and in this video I am going to play Scrabble while providing in-game commentary on my moves. Hopefully this will help to improve your game, and be fun to watch. The game has just started, so let's join the action. It's me to go first. I've got the X, which is a good scoring tile. I don't have a bingo. I can see flex. I'm wondering if I've got a five-letter word, which would score more than flex. But I can't see one. Flex takes an O after it for future reference. I don't have a D for FedEx. Just considering if I do have a longer word, and I don't think I do. Great, this looks pretty good. I may have a 7, through an M I would have inch meal. Do I have anything through the floaters on the board at the moment? Well, some of those have been blocked, although I do have column 8 for plays ending ED. So, do I have a nine letter play ending ED? Not that I can see, and I haven't seen a seven, so is there anything through an F? No, not that I can see. And then there's the L of flex. No. Well, this rack looks promising, but it hasn't delivered. I don't have an O for going after flex. Now, I can place my H underneath the E of Jew. Here. Nothing goes after X, U. So... I could play Hick, and the C stops my opponent from easily playing in column, sorry, in row K. Yeah, and 29 points is pretty good, and the rack leave is not fantastic, but it is balanced. Well, this isn't great. I have drawn another H. So I should be able to score with this rack. And my H can go underneath the C of Hick. Now, do I have a bingo? It looks unlikely. But I wouldn't want to miss one. And I'm looking in column 12 to see if I've got an eight-letter play through the C of Hick. Well, I can't see one, and I must also remember column 8 for nine-letter plays ending ED. Nothing there. So the two places I'm considering on the board are row K underneath Hick, and column 5, parallel to Fay. And I need to split up the LNR because the three of them together aren't good. So, can I actually use this spot meaningfully? What goes underneath the I? Just the N. Well, there aren't any plays beginning NH, so I can forget about that. What about a play coming down column 12 with the H in this spot? Can't see anything there. Now, this is the place for H over here. The A has to go next. I'd like to play off the L of the three consonants. 
I'd quite like to retain the E. Now this isn't a word. I could play Halo, this takes a U after it, 26 points, which is okay. Yeah, there are better Rackleys with this rack, but I do want to keep on scoring. Well, that's the peril of playing off five or more tiles, is that you're basically drawing a random rack, and this is not a good one. Onto an F, I would have Wakf. The F of Flex isn't available for that. I do have QAT on my rack. Is there anywhere to play it? The column 4 spot has just been blocked by my opponent. No use available on the board. No A's for Canat. Well, maybe it's better to sort out the rest of the rack, because if I merely focus on the queue, I'm going to be leaving a pretty ropey rack for next go. Now, the B and the W are not great tiles with the queue. I can get rid of both of those by playing board. And I'm keeping the T and the N, both of which do have some value with the queue, if I draw an I or an A. And board scores 31 points, which is good. I do not draw an A or an I or a U. I've just got the one vowel. No A's on the board for cat. So, what to do? Should I change? I've got the S, which is a good tile to have. Q and the V are very bad tiles to have at this stage of the game. I'm looking around to see what the most I can score is with this rack, and it's not very much. And certainly if I'm looking to retain the S, it's even less. I can play voted in column 8. 10 points. Well, that's not worthwhile. Keeping the Q is worth about minus 13, so that's what I'm keeping in mind. So I would need to score about 20 points with this rack to justify not changing. So I'm inclined to change, retaining the S and the T. Now, has my opponent provided an opportunity for me to score 20 odd points? I don't think so, and he has not enabled me to play my Q, so I am going to change. Certainly the Q, the V, and one of the Ts. Now, do I keep S-T-O-N? Looking at the board, there's two O's available, so I don't think I'll keep the O, and I don't think I'll keep the N either. I feel more comfortable having two consonants rather than three, because I don't want to end up with seven consonants. Well, no duplicate tiles, certainly balanced in terms of vowels and consonants. Do I have a bingo? I have boastful in row C, excellent. Hopefully that will stay available. Is there an alternative bingo? Through an L, I would have fallouts or outfalls. Row O is available. For putting If I put the S on the end of board, but I can't see a seven-letter play with this rack. I th I'm looking at the C of Hick to see if I have a bingo through that, and I can't see one. This isn't actually a great rack, so I hope Boastful remains available. 
Can't see anything through the G of boogied. I'm wondering if boatfuls is an anagram of boastful. I think it is. I'm not sure which of those is better to play. Now, apart from the F-U-L ending, I've also got the out beginning. So I've got out and then A-F-L-S. Out loafs, out folds, not good. Out flags, not good. Oh, brutal. My only bingo blocked for just five points. How annoying. So, do I have another bingo? Looking at the scores, I've only got a 30-point lead at this point. I don't think so. So... What am, I, what am I looking to do with this rack? Certainly play off the F and the U. How do I do that? I could play focal in column 12. That retains the U. 28 points. I don't think it's worth playing in row O, burning my S. Because I don't think it's going to score enough. Now I do have column 11 as a bingo lane to consider because Jude takes an S and a T after it. So that would be an eight letter play with an I in addition to the tiles on my rack. Can't see one there. And there's also the bingo lane in row M. Beginning with R in row N, beginning with D. Okay, I can't see anything. So, I do want to play off my F and my U. So I could play Fug in row F. Fifteen points, that's not a lot. But when I've got the S, it's such a bingo -y tile that I really do want to clear out all of the non bingo -y tiles. It would be nice to play off the O as well. How do I do that? Well, I can't see a way of doing that. So this isn't a great rack leave. But it does have some bingo potential. Well, this looks like it. There probably are some eight-letter bingos. I can't see a seven. Nice bingo by my opponent. 71 points for him. He now establishes a 30-point lead. Is there a bingo with this rack? Quite a few floaters to consider. Can't see anything through the sea of heck. What about the eye of heck? That looks reasonably synergetic. Well, can't see anything. This isn't a fabulous set of tiles, but I just don't want to miss a bingo if there's one there. Can't see anything with the R or the D. I'm mindful of the time. There's a lot of tiles left, and I'm getting close to nine minutes on the clock. There's the E of dailies. And I've got no scoring tiles on this rack, so I'm going to struggle to score. So Colt sorts the rack out. It doesn't score much. I don't think there are many points available. The rack leave is good. Twenty-eight 
just 12 points. I don't think I can do anything about that. Now, Vanitas is good. I've got that in row N. Do I have it anywhere else? Well, I have it in column 13 if Hicks is good, and I'm not totally sure about that. Do I have an alternative bingo? I think Avantist is good. That plays in row M. And that would be better than... Well, I'm not sure if it's better than Vanitas or not. Do I have anything through the floaters in dailies? I'm looking at the S in particular. Can't see anything there. My opponent's got just under 15 minutes, so he's got a lot of time. I'm looking at the L of dailies. Great. The Vanitas and the Avantist spot have not been blocked. Let me see what these score. I have some doubt about both of these plays, and more doubt about this one. So that's 80. Seventy-seven. Well, both of these plays are dangerous. If I play, if I play a Vantist, I'm opening up. I'm placing my A underneath the double letter square at L eight, which is dangerous. They score about the same. I think I feel happier with this play, and that's a pretty good pickup. My opponent challenges, the word's good, so he loses five points. I've now got a 40-point lead. Now, do I have back-to-back -back bingos? There's the L of Colts to consider. Can't see anything there. I'm looking at columns 13 and 15 for bingos beginning... ES or TI. Great, only 27 for my opponent. Now I've got Estancia in column 15. It's not a bingo, but it is going to reach the triple word square. 33 points, which is half a bingo. Very few floaters to consider on this board. I've got a slim lead. 24 points. Estancia will be opening up column 14 for bingos. But I think given that the board is fairly blocked, I'm going to Let's see if I can just keep scoring heavily. And this isn't providing any great opportunities for my opponent apart from a bingo lane. 33 points. Great. I draw the second blank, and that was one of the reasons for playing off a lot of tiles. I have no duplicates. I've got the J for score. My opponent has challenged Estancia. He loses another five points. He's now about a bingo behind. Only eight points. Now, the last time my opponent played off a, a tiny number of tiles for a small score, he bingoed straight after. What I could do is play Jag or Jig in column 14, making Jar, and that would shut out the only bingo lane on this board do I have a bingo myself I don't think I do I'm just mentally running th I think I'll run through the alphabet but not shuffling the tiles because that takes a little bit of time yeah 
Not seen anything yet. Still nothing. Okay. So, is there something better than Jig? Or Jag? Only one A and only one I left. Twenty-four points is not fabulous. Is there a better J spot? I guess column eleven's a bingo lane as well, through the eye of dailies. Twenty-three tiles left. I suspect there may be a much better spot. I'm looking at I'm I'm mindful of the time. Jig cuts out a bingo lane, but do I have a play? beginning here, running across of any length. And this is going to be worth considering just for score. I do, I have Jedi. And it's not a problem, too much of a problem keeping column 14 open because I have the blank, so I may bingo myself. If my opponent bingos, he's only going to draw level. He's not going to overtake me. Jedi, 46 points. The extra points definitely justify that play. Yeah, and... I think this is definitely sensible keeping that bingo lane open. I think I do have a bingo. Unit Arch doesn't play. Bingo lane stays open. My opponent scores 21 points. He's still 80 points behind. 18 tiles in the bag. Just under four and a half minutes. This would be a great time to bingo. But what is the bingo? Any play beginning UN doesn't play. Gauntry through an R. That's Unitage. Don't think it has an anagram. Languet. Great. That's the one. That's the one. Languet. Fantastic. Augment, even better, places the G, my only scoring tile. That's actually enough for me. I don't want to get into further time trouble. This maximises the score. There may be better bingos elsewhere, but this is the best bingo lane, so this is the best play in terms of denying my opponent opportunities to come back. Augment, 74 points. Also, had the anagram of mutagen, but Augment scored more. Horrible rack, but I don't think it matters because I've now got a massive lead, 150 points. I would like to play the queue. I can play that above the first eye of dailies. Onto an H, I would have cough. I'm looking around for anywhere else to play my queue. And I can't see anywhere. But even if I get stuck with it, it won't be a, a disaster, because I think this this game is won. Now, I'm looking at the remaining tiles to consider what happens if I retain the cute. There's only one I out there, there's only one A, there's only one T. But if I play QI, I'm keeping three O's and there is an O in the bag. There are only five vowels unplayed, so actually my O surfeit may not be as much of a problem. Certainly if I draw the Z, the O's are a good tile to have. I could play Zoo in row E. So where are the H's? Hala in column 5. Yeah, and Hick in row J. So they certainly are not available. My opponent's got 11 minutes left. I've got 3 minutes left. It's quite nice when you are getting into time trouble um, to have a bingo because it, it burns a lot of tiles. So 
11 tiles left in 3 minutes isn't too bad. Great score by my opponent. 52 points, 5 tiles in the bag, only 3 vowels. And the I's gone, he's played the I, but there is, there is an A out there. So, do I play QI, or do I try and play a lot of tiles to, to get any vowels that are left to put my opponent in problems? Well, if I don't play QI here, my opponent could easily block that spot, and then I think I am stuck with it, so I am going to play the Q. Quite a good pickup. I'm still a hundred points ahead despite my opponent's fifty-two point play. Thirty-four points for my opponent, he's scoring well. He's only seventy points behind. Two tiles left. I don't see any point in playing just one. I can play Roop down here. This is going to score quite well, and by playing off four tiles and drawing two, I'll have five tiles on my rack, and it's easier. And that's... I'm more likely to go out with a single play with five tiles than if I had six. 28 points for Roop, which is a good score. Yokes, if there's anywhere to play it. I've got the S for going on the end of board in row O. 19 points for my opponent. So, can I go out? Now, Vigoros does take an O at the end. Vigoroso. Sadly, I can't use that. That would be a fun play. My opponent's got A, E, double R. He may not be able to go out in one. I've got less than a minute left. So. I can play Cos across here. 32 points, and then I should be able to play off my E and my Y, but I'm going to play this because I'm short on time. I don't think my opponent can go out, but because I'm short on time, I haven't, I haven't really looked around. Great, five points off my opponent's score. Where am I going to play YE? I've got 29 seconds to find somewhere. Ah, I could have played Yesk. Ah, oh, that's a shame. I could have played Yesk, Y-E-S-K, and had just the O. That's annoying. And I'm now struggling to see anywhere to play Y-E. I thought it would be straightforward. I can play U in row M, Y-E-W, so I'm now looking for a second spot. Oh, that's really annoying about Yesk. That would have been a much bigger score. My opponent blocks my spot. Got 26 seconds to play. Y E. Fifteen seconds. Well, I can't see anywhere, that's a shame. There probably was somewhere. I just didn't have time to see it. My opponent's got AR left. I'm expecting him to go out. I'm looking around to see where I could have played YE. Okay, and pass to end the game. And the final score... 334 to my opponent, 451 to me, a winning margin of 117 points. 
So quite a comfortable win in the end, but augment really was the difference between that being a comfortable win and a tight win or a loss. Let's see what I missed. It was me to go first. Flex looks best. My opponent played Jew. Now, did I miss a bingo? No, I didn't. That's good. And I played Hick for 29, and I think that looks fine. Well, only a bunch of low-scoring moves here, so I think Hala look, looks fine. Horrible rack for me at this point. And I could play Trank in row M, making Newt. I didn't spot that. Instead, I played Board for 31 points. And, well, those moves have very different scores in rack leaves, so it's difficult to be sure of which is better. Ah, oh, my opponent has Gobioid. Let's see if that plays anywhere. No, it doesn't. Now, I still had the queue. And this was the point at which I changed. And I didn't see Onst. But I think changing is better because changing enables me to get rid of the queue, which is worth minus 13, and retain the S, which is worth plus 8. So that's already accounts for a 20-point swing. Ooh, surely my opponent had multiple bingos with this rack. Yeah. Okay. Fortunately, he didn't spot any of them. Now, this is where my opponent blocked Boastful. Did I have an alternative bingo? No, I didn't. What did I play? Fug for 15. Well, certainly has the best... Rack leave, but I was sacrificing a fair bit of score to achieve that rack leave. Okay, not sure what was best. Now my opponent does bingo. Did I miss a bingo? Nope, I didn't. Well, I'm glad I didn't. I did Colt for 12, and again I'm sacrificing points to keep a good rack leave, and you really need to simulate these moves to, to find out if that's the best thing. Now, but having played Colt for only 12 points, I then did have a bingo, which is the reason you take the point sacrifice on some plays. And Avantist was good, Vanitas was also good, they were the only two bingos, and I think they're, they're pretty close. Quite a bingo -y rack, but no bingo playable. I played Estancia for 33, Abiotic at C7, wow, that would have been a pretty fabulous play running underneath dailies to the double word square. But Estancia is fine. Horrible rack for my opponent, no scoring tiles, and just difficult to deal with. Right, I was rewarded with a nice rack after Estancia. No bingo here, but Jedi looks best and scored really well. And here I had several bingos. Although it took me a while to spot Languette, and then I found Augment, but as you can see, there were a number of others. Great play by my opponent, 52 points. And here I played QI. Maybe I should have played Roop first, but maybe not. My opponent doesn't have a scoring tile to play in column 15 to good effect, so I think G is fine. Poser at 0135, this is where I played Root for 28, keeping the S. I think that's fine because I'm then keeping the S for the board hook. And yeah, yes for 59, that would have been great. Oh, and of course, Bordy. Yikes, that was a bad 
miss. I just didn't consider the Y hook and I had it. But yes, for 59 points was the play. Instead, I got 32 for KOS. So that was poor. Could my opponent have gone out with this rack? No, he couldn't. Could I have gone out with this rack? Wow, I couldn't. Gosh, so the Yesk misc was even more expensive than I thought. There wasn't an out with that rack. Okay, and I got 9 for you. I could have got 15 for Yerk, so even my single point play was suboptimal. But often that happens at the end of the game. If you, When the game is won and you're short on time, it's easy to make uh, suboptimal plays. But the, the key play in that game, I think, was augment because there were a lot of tiles in the bag. The clock was running down. My opponent was quite close. There were a couple of bingo lanes open and augment, and they gave me a good lead. It took out a bingo lane, and it basically made my opponent's um, position impossible in terms of of winning. So I think that was an interesting game overall. I hope you enjoyed watching it and got something out of it. My name is David Webb, and this has been a video for Dweebo Vision.